Charles Wilhelm has become known as one of the country's top trainers for both horses and people. His approach to training focuses on educating the horse owner alongside their equine partners so they can form a strong bond and achieve an amazing partnership. You know, before we get on, you're going to want to check your saddle fit, make sure your stirrups are okay, adjusted to fit you, uh, that it's secure. You can go ahead and, and kind of pop the leather there a little bit, you know, bump around the, the flanks and the hips, saddle. Check the lane. Kind of bump along the side where your legs would be. And, uh, and I think we're good. So just like uh, the other horse, I'm gonna start out with a little bit of weight. And uh, just back away, leave it alone. Okay, and if it wants to come and face me, that's a good thing, okay? Um, I, want, I want it to be a problem moving his feet and then going bolting off. Good. All right, let's go over and we'll put a little weight and the other side. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get up up. Just sit there for a moment and go ahead and get right off. Walk the horse out. And I don't mind doing this because I gotta I gotta teach this horse to stand still anyway. Uh, I had a client come in the other day where she sent a horse to a trainer and says, ah, horses are ready. So the woman tried to get on the horse and the horse would move off. Well he did the same thing with the the trainer. He got on where the horse was moving his feet. So this is not a bad thing to go up and down because you're teaching this horse for the rest of your life type of thing. All right. And we can go ahead and ask for gives. In other words, uh, make contact, let the nose give to the rein. Good. And then it left his nose over there, so I'll go ahead and pick up over here. Now this is all the preliminary work that we did before we got on. It's really starting to get used to the bit. And then what we can do is we can pick up a little bit more and get the hips to move over a little bit just like that. Get the hips to move over. Good. That's our e-brake. Takes a little bit of the negative energy out of it. Good. And then get the hip to move that way, get the feet to start traveling forward by picking up on the rein when the right foot steps over. When the right foot steps over, good. It's a little awkward with his feet. Good. All right. So what I'm gonna do, I think that's a pretty good deal. So I'm gonna get off like no big deal. It gets a chance to have a sense of relief. There we go. Good, get the feet to move. Once the feet move forward just like that, I release. Good. Yeah. Doesn't have real good directional control, but that's what you get having a baby. Come on. Kind of 
Playing with the bit a little bit. Good. And turn to the right. I'm putting my left rein on the horse. Doesn't know, necessarily know what that means. But that starts teaching it to, to move off of it. And to the left. Extend my hand out, kind of guiding his nose left. Good. And to the right. Good. Good. And whoop. Back up. Good. And we call it a day. That was phenomenal. Um, that's what good mind horses do. That's what good preparation do. He was calm right through the lesson. We hope you've enjoyed watching Charles Wilhelm's Ultimate Foundation Horsemanship. Remember, to find out more about Charles and to see how you can get the most out of your relationship with your horse, visit Charles online at charleswilhelm.com.